Good howdy folks, welcome back to another James Blackburn experience. Yes, yes, yes. Thanks a lot for tuning back in. It's Friday, September 15th, 2017. Taking you guys on a short hike today across the Montano Bridge to a paved trail. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a lot of fun and excitement. <laughs> now you park at the Pueblo Montano Trailhead and then you can hike up to the road and there's this little paved trail here that you can hike across the river. And there's a few little stopping points along the way that I'll share with you. I hope you guys enjoy it, it's a beautiful day out. One of the things that I really love about hiking across the bridge here is the fact that there's a lot of shade. And if it's a warm day out, you can be here covered by all these awesome trees for quite a bit of time. Ah, it feels good out, it's a nice breeze going right now. Pretty awesome. Continuing the journey. And if any of you out there are wondering about my friend Dan, I did a video about him yesterday. He seems to be recovering in the hospital. Hopefully it'll be 100% recovery. Uh, and I'll find out more over the next couple days. You can see down here in the bosque right now, there's a bunch of really beautiful yellow flowers everywhere. We've had a lot of moisture, so everything's really gotten nice and green. It's very beautiful. All right, here comes the river. There it is, the Rio Grande. Now along this tra trail here, you can stop and see some cool things here. The Rio Overlook talks about some of the animals that live here. The giver of life. You can see there's other stuff there it mentions as well. And here you go. Who lives here? Lots of different critters. Well, appreciate y'all watching today. I'm gonna keep hiking here and gonna take you down to this cool paved trail. And I'll tell you more about that when I get there. So what do you say we get moving? Woo! Not sure how good my sound is. I'm using a microphone today for the first time, so that ought to be interesting. Yep. As you hike east on this paved trail area on the bridge here, you look over here and you can see the Sandia Mountains on the east side of town. Uh, I love the Sandia Mountains. They're so beautiful and so fun to hike. And you can actually go all the way to the top and there's a crest trail on the whole thing. So yeah, check it out online. Okay, after a little less than a half mile of walking across the bridge, you come up to this paved trail, which I'm gonna to show to you right now. Now this paved trail up here, you can actually take a bike on it, you can hike on it, run on it, whatever you want. They, they call it a multi-use trail. And this thing is 16 miles long. The paved trail goes through the Rio Grande Valley State Park. And like I said, you can use it for a variety of things. It's really cool. 
little more information about it for you. Now one really cool thing about this trail is, yes it is 16 miles long, but it also never crosses a road. It crosses under every single road that it comes to, so you never have to get on a, on a car road. Now, as you can tell right here, there's also some dirt trails that go down into the Bosque itself, so feel free to follow those as well. Those are always fun, and yes, you can get to the river from this side. So as you can see, there are a few rules to using this trail, but it's all common sense and safety related. You know, like that one right there, if you're on a mountain bike, you may want to ask the, the horse person how to proceed because that, you know, mountain bike could freak out a horse, you never know. There you go, the bridge is here, some flowers here. Now as you cross under the bridge, you'll notice to the right here, there's an irrigation ditch and a bridge that goes across that as well. And that allows you to be able to bike down that way. And then there's a trail over here that goes down to the Rio Grande Nature Center eventually. A few times I've actually seen some kayakers in here playing around. Seems like it could be kind of fun. And I don't think I have to worry about watching for ice on the trail today. It's in the 80s here. Ooh, look. More flowers. So there you go. The 16 mile paved trail goes under every bridge that it comes to. So you never have to mix your mountain biking or horse riding or walking with any actual cars or vehicles. Pretty awesome. All right, there you go, folks. Another look at another hiking place here in New Mexico, right in Albuquerque. It's always beautiful to check it out. And as usual, I appreciate y'all watching. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Please subscribe for the latest updates. And love, love, and hate, hate. Take care of one another. Thanks, folks. See you later.